Commitment important. Service foremost. Quality first. Science and technology dominant. Shandong Sunshine Zhongtai Mechanical Engineering Company Limited. The process of aerated concrete is divided into five parts. Preparation and storage of raw materials. Ingredients, stirring and pouring. Static curing, cutting and grouping. Steaming and pressing, as well as finished products packing. First, fly ash or sand is grinded by a ball mill and made into slurry, which is stored in the slurry storage tank for use. Block lime is first crushed by jaw crusher and sent by bucket elevator to the grain lime warehouse for storage. Then it is sent by conveyor to a dry ball mill for grinding. sent by bucket elevator to the lime powder warehouse for storage and use. The preparation and transportation process of raw materials is equipped with perfect dust removing equipment, ensuring that the environment are not contaminated. After they are measured respectively, the raw material preparation, slurry, lime powder, cement and aluminium powder are poured into the molding box after being mixed and stirred evenly by pouring mixer. and pouring system adopt PLC realizing fully and automatically computer control. Accurate technology formula forms according to the test result of the chemical composition of raw materials. After the pouring work is completed, the gas forming static stage starts. Under the action of lime, aluminium powder and water, the mixed slurry in the molding box generates hydrogen, which makes the slurry expand. And then the body forms by a series of physical and chemical changes and completes its hardening process under a certain temperature to meet the cutting requirements. Mold frame is lifted to the cutting machine position by flipping crane.
Flip the slings to make a mold frame and body flip 90 degrees in the air and place them on the bearing of cutting cart. Then the manipulator of the flipping slings automatically open the mold frame, removes the mold frame and place the body and side plate edge on on the first cutting cart. And then the body and side plate pass the slitting device and go through the vertical cutting. When the body is being cut vertically, the cutting of its side face is completed by cutting blade and the sawing wire tension by cylinder while the crosscut shelf lands vertically from top to bottom, conducting the crosscut cutting of body. During the cutting, the sawing wire does the saw-like swing to complete the saw-like crosscut cutting of the body. After the completion of the body cutting, the displacement device of cutting cart launches so that the cart beneath the cutting machine displaces the oil cylinder and jacks up the cart body as well as side plate. The first cart below returns to the starting position to carry the new body to be cut. And then the second cart replaces the first cart and carries the body and side plate to proceed to the slings of grouping into kettle. The slings are equipped with a device using somersault to remove the bottom skin, which flip 9 degrees and lay the body flatwise on the flipping slings to remove the bottom skin under the action of the hydraulic cylinder. Afterwards, the body is grouped into kettle and transported to the steaming and curing cart. Through the automatical into kettle device, it enters the steamer and pressing kettle for steaming and curing. After the kettle process, the finished product which has been through steaming and curing is pulled by the ferry vehicle or winch and moved below the glass severing slings of mobile out of kettle. And then the hydraulic manipulator of mobile glass severing machine of the slings begins the work of block separation. Steaming and curing cart returns to the steaming and pressing kettle via returning orbit and is ready to carry new body. With the side plate, the separated blocks proceed below the finished product fixture crane. The finished product fixture picks the blocks and moves them to the pallet on the conveyor belt or finished product chain. Then they're classified and packed by workers, or coated transversely, and packed by automatic packing machine. Next, they are transported to the storage yard, or finished products, and stacked according to the specifications. While the side plates of finished products are removed and cleaned and then sent to the product line for continuing to proceed below the flipping slings. 
They will be combined with the cleaned, empty mold frame to be poured again for recycle. The waste generated in the production process joins into the new production process again after the waste is stirring. With no generation of waste of water, waste materials, exhaust gas, the entire product line will repeat the above production process continuously to adapt to the needs of different annual production.